What's going on guys, Dexon here with another awesome video. Today's video is going to be about completing all of the Karadat mysteries, and keep in mind you'll need to be level 107 archaeology to complete all of them. If you missed out on my previous videos, I've created guides for all of the mysteries within Everlight, Stormguard, Citadel, and the Infernal Saurus dig sites, and I'll leave a link for those down in the description below. I will also pin timestamps in the comments section for each of the different mysteries within Karadat, and I'll be covering the items needed, the level requirement needed for each one. Most of these mysteries are pretty straightforward, some of them needing some items, some of them just needing to find journal pages. However, the final mystery has a few puzzles and can be a bit complicated. So buckle in and let's get started. The first mystery in Karadet is Breaking the Seal. The level requirement is level 10, although it could be 5 as I haven't fully tested it. The lowest I tested it on an alt character was level 10, so it's fairly early on and will need to be completed to really enter the Karadet dig site. Once you hit level 10, begin unearthing the fort entrance. You'll be told that you should talk to Dr. Nabinik about the entrance. Dr. Nabinik will then hand you a jewel for you to repair and use on the door once you fully unearth it. Once the fort entrance is unearthed, use the repair jewel on the door and then talk to Dr. Nabinik once again. He'll then grant you entrance further into the dig site. The next mystery you'll do is Prison Break. Again, you'll need to be level 12 and you'll start this mystery by talking to Liam once you get inside the fortress. He will need you to find four journal pages. You can find these journal pages by excavating at any of the spots inside the fortress. You will need to find anywhere from two to four journal pages. After you find at least two pages, you can talk to Liam for a broken dial. After you receive the dial, enter the following code. Shadow, blood, smoke, and then ice, and the door will fall. You will need to get the final two journal pages to complete the mystery, however. The following mystery is Time Served. You can do this mystery at level 47. This one is fairly simple to do. You'll need to repair an ancient timepiece artifact from the Presidio Remains, which is the level 47 spot directly inside that prison door we just dropped. Once you find that timepiece, repair it and use it on the cell controller to the north of the dig spot. The next mystery is the Cult of Orcus. You can do this mystery at level 74. This is a straightforward mystery and you'll need to collect three journal pages found at the Karadet Chapel Debris. Once you found all three, go and talk to Dr. Nabinik to complete this mystery. The next mystery is the Forgotten Prisoner. You can do this mystery at level 107. This mystery requires the Time Served mystery to be completed and a restored Pontifex Signet Ring artifact and a Legatus Pendant artifact. The ring can be excavated at the level 58 spot behind the Red Barrier and the amulet at the level 47 spot, the Presidio Remains, the same spot where you got the Timepiece artifact. Chances are you're level 107 right now and you should know where these are and already have them on your tool belt. You'll also need a portable phylactery. Once you have the required artifacts, whether equipped, in your inventory or on your tool belt, go through the barrier in the side room opened by the time served mystery and talk to the strange device. The correct chat options for the strange device are 4, Zilgar Trog, 2, Demon Soul, 5, In Prison, and 1, Committed Treason. After that, you'll need a portable phylactery, which is from the ancient magic munition excavation plot, which requires 107 archaeology. Use the portable phylactery on the prison to complete the mystery. The next mystery is decimation. You'll need to be level 107 for this also, and turn in 6 commander logs, which can be found at the ancient magic munitions at 107, or if unlucky, at the praetorian remains at 114 and war table debris at 118. Once you have the 6 pages, head back to Dr. Nabinik, turn in that mystery. The next mystery is Shadow Fall. You'll also need to be level 107 for this, and you'll need to find five journal pages found at the same excavation sites as the previous mystery. Once you have all five, head back to Dr. Nabinik to complete the mysteries. And the final mystery is the Vault of Shadows, which too can be completed at level 107. You're going to need a few items for this mystery, the Incite Fear, Exsanguinate, Smoke Cloud, and Animate Dead Spell Scrolls. You'll also need your Legatus Pendant and a Pontifex Signet Ring. Head to the fort entrance in Karadet and select the prison block teleport. And then head through the eastern door of the prison block that you unblocked during the time served mystery. You're going to then head south and you're going to cast the Incite Fear spell scroll which requires level 58 archaeology and is consumed on use while standing next to the dial on the west wall. Once you hit the cast fear, you press the ice button to teleport to the puzzle.
Once inside, pick up the Praetor's Log, page 1, and stand in the middle, carefully, so you don't move any of the controls. Should you make an error, leaving and returning will reset the puzzle. Go ahead and position the camera facing north, and then hit the following. Move northeast one time forward. Move east one time forward. Move northeast one time backward. Move southwest one time backward. Move south two times forward. Move southeast two times forward. Move the center one time forward. Move north one time backward. Move south one time backward. Move west one time forward. Move northwest one time forward. And when you solve the puzzle, you will find the Praetor's Log, page 2. For the second puzzle, you're going to pass through the barrier at the Caridet Chapel. And then using the Exsanguinate spell scroll from the level 86 Orcus Altar Excavation Plot on the dial on the northern wall in the chapel. This will open a southern way into the Blood Vault. This is a similar puzzle to the first one, but this time the player has 5 buttons in a form of an X instead of 9. Again, the final order of dials is Shadow, Blood, Smoke, Ice. To solve the puzzle, do the following. Position the camera to face north. Move the southwest one time backwards. Move the middle one time forward. Move northwest two times forward. Move southwest one time backward. Move middle two times backwards. Move the northeast one time forward. Move southeast one time forward. Move middle one time backward. Move northeast two times backward. Move middle two times backward. Move northeast one time backward. Move middle one time backward. Move southwest one time backward. Move southeast one time forward. Move middle one time forward. Move southeast one time forward. Move middle one time forward. Move southeast one time forward. Move southwest one time forward. Move middle one time forward. Move southwest one time backward. And then move middle two times forward. Once you solve the puzzle, you'll get the third page. For the third puzzle, you're going to head outside of the chapel and then head north. It'll be just to the east of the war table. Use the smoke cloud spell scroll from the level 100 culinarium debris excavation plot on the dial on the western wall next to the oven. In this puzzle, the horizontal buttons will move columns and the vertical buttons will move rows. You're going to click the buttons all forward. There are no backwards and you'll do it in the following order. And I'll have a little picture for reference labeling all of the buttons with certain numbers in the top right of the video. You'll start off with hitting 7, 8, 1, 1, 3, 4, 4, 4, 8, 7, 8, 8, 1, 1, 8, 8, 8, 1, 1, 3, 3, 8, 3, 3, 2, 4, 7, 7, 7, 8, 4, 
eight, 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 two, 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 four, 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 eight, 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 four, four, and you guessed it, four. With that, the door will fall and you'll be done with that puzzle and you'll get the fourth log. And now it is time for the fourth and final puzzle. For the final one, you'll need to head into the war table and you may need a ring of visibility, you may not. I know people that haven't, I know people that do, so I'm not quite sure. But once inside, you're going to head to the western wall and use the Animate Dead spell scroll from the level 100 in Ancient Magic Munitions excavation plot. Once inside, rotate your camera facing south and stand at the bottom of the V of the dials. Again, I'll have a picture labeling the dials a certain number and then just follow along with what I'm doing. The third button, you'll hit two times forward. The first button, one time backward. Third button, two times backward again. First button, one time backward. The fifth button, one time backwards. The second button, two time forwards. The fourth button, one time forward. The first button, one time backward. Third button, one time backward. First button, one time forward. Fifth button, one time backward. Third button, two times forward. Fifth button, one time forward. Second button, one time backward. Third button, one time backward. Second button, one time backward. Third button, two times forward. Fourth button, two times forward. Third button, two times forward. And the door will drop and that will be the final puzzle needed. And after completing all four puzzles, the player can pick up the shadow engrometer, which is depleted from the center. Now that you have the engrometer in your inventory, you're going to have to go and collect 500 vibrant tier or higher memories to fill the engrometer. Thanks to quick editing, we will now have a completed engrometer. After you fill it, return to the center of the vault and operate the engrometer to get Trending's memory. Bring the memory to Dr. Nabinik to get Trending's memory as a book. Bring the book back to the vault, wearing the ring of visibility, and talk to Trending, who is now in the center. After some dialogue with Trending, you will complete the final mystery. And that's it! Pretty simple and straightforward mysteries. I hope the puzzles didn't mess you guys up too, too bad. Next week, I'll be dropping the final dig site mystery quick guide for Warforge, so be ready for that. Again, if you missed out and need to complete any of the other dig site mysteries, including Stormguard, Everlight, or Infernal Source, go and check out the channel for help knocking those out. I hope this guide helped you guys out and you were all able to complete the Caradet mystery set to unlock that thick researcher. If the guide did help you out, please do me a favor and hit that like button. If you enjoyed the content today, consider subscribing. I upload weekly. If you have any questions, as always, drop them down in the comment section below or join my Discord. The link is in the description. I appreciate all the love you have all shown me. I hope you guys have a good morning, day, evening, whatever it is where you're from. I hope you're getting a lot of gains during this double XP weekend. Stay safe and stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!